Yeah, 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 Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy, LC The One, baby. LC The One to be exact, you dig. A-K-A, -A, the automatic one. Two, four. They're not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my warm-up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking chair. Hey, what's up to my LC, my LC gang and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on? I don't feel them, y'all living, you did, but hey, man. We back, we back, we back with another vlog, man. And let me tell y'all right now, this right here is another epic, iconic, epic vlog. Can y'all dig that? With a basketball, Jack. <laughs> Talk Athens to Nathan, baby. Shout out to SJ and Baby Lyra. You did. But as you can see from the title of the video, man, this is the vlog day. This is the day for Baby Lyra to arrive. Yeah. Now cut the music. Now, cute, you're going to listen, man. Today is a very iconic special day because today is delivery day. We getting ready. Um, as y'all can see, man, we got a lot of the stuff ready and prepared, you know, so we're about to go get camped out at the hospital and stuff, man, and get ready for this delivery to take place. As you can see, we got all our stuff, all our sensors and stuff like that. I got my camera case right here got the backpack with all my goodies in here and stuff man i'm gonna be capped out camped out up and now all the fj's goodies and stuff like that man okay so hopefully this will be a smooth quick safe healthy delivery for baby lira as we're about to go head out to the hospital man and get ready for this delivery today okay SJ over there getting us up ready. So I wanted to show y'all on camera right now. She getting ready, but I'm gonna try to get as much documentation as I can for y'all. So um, if y'all new, make sure y'all subscribe most importantly and turn the notification bell button on. Y'all gotta turn on the notification bell button. And also um, um, subscribe to my LC1 React channel, okay? Because I'm dropping footage on there too, okay? We're gonna be vlogging heavily for us and baby um baby lira forever okay so this is gonna be something epic i kind of big and plus her big sister's a kid also won't be gonna vlog and plus mr green baby man, gonna do the, all the theatrics with green that little green right there chilling so he gonna be by himself for a, a, a day or two and she can hold up because he he a, he a stud okay so now i'm gonna give him something to eat right now okay i gotta give him some worms and stuff over there pet pet smart later on but anyway uh, let me show y'all some of the newer things we got for baby Lyra and stuff like this. So stay tuned like on that tone. All right, y'all, man. We went and got some um, nursery water for baby Lyra. This is some of the water we're going to be using right here to mix her formula and stuff together right here. So we got this right here. And uh, yeah, um, we got a lot of stuff, um, you know, uh, for baby Lyra. I got the baby on board uh, thing. It's in the backpack right there. I'm gonna put that in there in the car seat. Um, I don't be not. I don't think she's gonna be coming home to um, not in a couple of days and stuff. But the car seat is over there, so I'm gonna have to take the car seat down there too, just to be prepared and ready. You know, got the car seat. I may go grab it right now. You know, I'm supposed to be walking on the road. Don't tell anybody I'm walking on the road. Okay, I'm get to grab the car seat. I think all oh, this is already attached. I didn't even know it was already attached like that. But I'm gonna take the car seat down there, so I'm gonna have everything prepared for baby Lyra. Okay, I'll be working on that. You know, um, I was supposed to do it a little earlier today, but I'm gonna do it. You know, when I get uh, situated at the hospital and stuff, and I'll be able to go out in the parking lot, check on the vehicle and all that stuff, and make sure everything's intact. Now I was about to stream. GTA. Okay, I was about to spray GTA, but that's just ready. So that's what we're about to do. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of the stream in. And if I do, do y'all be watching it on the channel? Make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can check that out. Okay, so let's take one more look. 
had baby in the room. I was supposed to take the bassinet. I'm gonna take the bassinet over to the other side today. And well, maybe not today. It probably gonna be in a couple of days. So I'm gonna be here and stuff like that. But y'all see, this is the transformation, the complete transformation of her room. Y'all can see she got we got the stand up closet in here. We got a whole bunch of space for her playpen over there. The baby stroller. I'm gonna have to come back and get the baby stroller. I mean, we're gonna take the car seat though. So that should be enough. Uh, we don't need all that uh, going to and fro uh, from that that area. Okay, but anyway, y'all see, we got everything ready for it. Got the can right there. Y'all seen that diaper genie thing. And then that's the walker right there. I'll be busting that out the box, uh, you know, when she get a little bit older and stuff. Got the high chair over there. All the pampers. We got all the accessories that she need, okay, um, uh, that she's going to need in the months to come. But anyway, man, I was about to stream this stuff on the uh, Xbox. Um, you know with the green screen and stuff, but now the Xbox app is saying uh, you got to check back later Not able to stream now I've been doing the same thing as Xbox and pain because everything updated with this uh, Windows uh, Laptop and then everything is okay over here on this side. So I don't know what's going on man They just hating on your boy. They don't want me to stream on the green screen That's why I got this thing for man. I got all this for the green screen and stuff and everything and they got over there and stuff like that so yeah uh but we about to check out man so the next bits and pieces of this vlog y'all will be seeing at the hospital <laughs> can you dig it all right so we are at the hospital now and, uh, i know it's a lot of ambience y'all probably can't hear too good but uh Esther over there she was uh, checking in and uh we came prepared man uh, they got the hospital now i think when you got the food you got the I told y'all from earlier, and uh, the lady gave me a validation time for the park. She said it's 24 hours in the park. It's time for the park. And I already had a ticket earlier. Over, over there, I'll uh, tell you, for the park. I know I said that last time. Anyway, I got a ticket for the high park. Anyway, there's a validation time right here. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go down there and do my ride. Let me take this from the city of Chicago. Let me take this from the city of Chicago. I'm gonna go and see it. And I'm gonna go and deal with it. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take this from the city of Chicago. I'm gonna go and see this from the city of Chicago. So I just get that here to trust the escort. Uh, you got a person escort. Yeah. And, uh, escort with a sign. Let me let me show y'all what she's doing. Uh, they were escort. She's driving me right there. Uh, we're supposed to come tomorrow. I had a man in there, but she wants to come now. So uh, we're checking in right now. It's like six fifty. Six fifty. Uh, this is our last ten. That's I don't know, 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 they want to move her back there, I guess, um, you know, to, I guess, the bed that she's going to be in, in the area. And, uh, you know, we are Mount Sinai. Uh, my first daughter, uh, I had her at the University of Chicago, uh, right over there in Washington Park. And this, they procedure a little different over here. Uh, I think I was able to go into the zone. Uh, and uh you know why she got the upper girl but over here it's a little different it's the west side and uh i'm out here still waiting in, uh, i guess the waiting room the waiting area i guess they before they called me to come inside and uh, uh i'm pretty sure my my parking is all good because they got the same security company that i work for downstairs so the guy told me, he said, because uh, I seen some tickets outside of their cars. And I was like, hey, man, is the parking cool where I'm in? He was like, yeah, he's good. And uh, he said it was just the other side of the street. So, you know, 
I know they meet a man's fight come out like around eight, nine o'clock. So I know this one's take that long. But you know, there's a different procedure over here on the west side. That's why I was wondering why her doctor, you know, wouldn't have had over there where we stay at. You know, to be on the south side and, you know, that's why I was telling her when uh, you know, I guess so I said to uh, the family doctor, you should probably go in front of the family. Cause that's where uh, I'll take the key. You know, I could be taking the key to the key the first time. Uh, right down the street from where we stayed at. So, you know, I want to see how long they're going to have you sitting out here uh, before I go back to the room. Uh, I don't want to miss the call because, you know, I got to go pay the water bill. Okay? Uh, they got the women's washroom right here. Hold on, let me show you. I'm trying to figure out where's the men's washroom. And if they do call, I don't know if they're going to call my name or they're going to say her name. But I feel like I asked the ladies, like, where's the men's washroom? You know, I'm trying to buy, I'm trying to support the men's women's Lopez, but you know, they got to they gotta do some color connection on their TV over there. I'm about to pull my tablet out and watch some NBA on YouTube. I don't want to miss the call, though, but, you know, I'm just trying to figure this out, man. It's, it's the west side. I'm from the south side. I don't know what all this. If he was at the university, I probably would have been in the world with him. And I could have pulled my camera out and, you know, did some real 24 hours stuff. They got me sitting outside in a waiting room. And I'm her spouse, you know? I'm like, what is it? Okay. But, all right, I'm going I'm to tell you about the child in a minute. So I'll be got to add one more thing before I, you know, I check back in with y'all later. Um, now, when I hear you he as a kid, uh, I mean, it went so fast. I mean, uh, you probably went up to the hospital about 30 minutes. You know, after she got there at the door, uh, he was in the room. They go to, to the delivery uh, area. And I was still sitting in the room, like I'm sitting right here. And, I didn't even know. The lady came and got me like probably 10 minutes later and told me uh, your daughter was born. I was like, huh? She just left me sitting here. And I didn't even get a chance to cut the cord or anything, man. So, you know, I hope they don't do me like they over here because they're in the city here and I don't know what's going on. But, uh, uh, next time we're going to be at the University of Chicago. I don't care what you say. Because, uh, you know, it's a little bit different, but only fly with them. They didn't call me. They didn't even take me to the no. delivery room. I was there. I was just still yeah. sitting out in the room. You're and right. the lady, the nurse came and got me after she was born. Now, the only thing I seen was them cleaning her up, you know, under the spotlight and all that. Uh, but it seemed like they got her back there and I can't even go nowhere. I can't even go to the washroom and get a call, you know. I don't know if they're going to call with me or anything. But anyway, I'm not even going to call them. Glenn, what happened to your parents? All right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, still waiting. It's going on 8.15. Uh, 8.15. Uh, now, I'm trying to recall, like I said, uh, when I was at the university, uh, my daughter's first mother, uh, I believe he came in there and was like five something. Now, the due date was the 24th. Because the kid was supposed to be on Christmas Eve. But they induced her labor to the 22nd. And I'll never forget it. Like, as soon as we got there, they were able to have the door. And said, we're going to be in the room 20 minutes. And, uh, they go to the living room. I know it started snowing. Uh, it started the same day. It's snowing now a little bit. And uh, that's when the nurse came back and got me 10 minutes later. And security was born. I don't know. Okay. Now, my question still is I never asked the mother, like, since I wasn't in the room to see her, you know, being delivered. Who cut the cord? I mean, I'm pretty sure the doctor probably did, but, you know, I feel kind of offended because the lady just left me sitting there, and she didn't say anything to me. You know, she could have come back. I mean, the nurse actually was talking to me and everything, you know. And she goes out, you know. She just left me sitting there, man. I was like, come on, man. People got better than this, man. 
Entro. Bueno, ahí está. Está la serie de ellos, el prestigio de ellos, el descanso de ellos. Es muy diferente. Me ayudan a más a los que están en el bebé. Cada uno tiene que ser diferente. Pero es algo diferente. Es algo diferente. Es una situación. Being that her day, the due date is today. She likes me do today. And when she told me that her doctor said they was going to do the paper or tomorrow, this is what I love. I'm like, that don't make no sense to me because this is the due date today. And she wanted to come today. You know, like right after I told her to you, she wanted to come come here. So I was like, okay. I took it to get her last year. I've been sitting, waiting all day. I took it to get her lashes done. She got her head done. I haven't even used the washroom yet. I'm still there. I'm still waiting to use the washroom. You know what I'm saying? It's like they got the women's washroom right here. I don't know where the men's washroom is at. They need water found their work. Let me show you what your boy got. I'm kind of smart. No, I'm not a dummy. Look at him. Let me show you what he's I got the baby water in him too. Right. So I'm over here now, young ladies over here, and the water found my word. I got sex in here, for CG stuff, and I'll be security too. My staff worked in this building, an ally. I'm 17 years old, so I'm pretty sure we do this site too. You know, the hospital, the library, like they send our office to the library right now. I'm not going over there. I'm right at the Art Institute. I, I did the University of Chicago, but it shut me down, and I was standing outside doing this shit. Man, I stood outside from what, 3 to 1 o'clock in the morning? And, you know, we have to, you know, secure the campus and the, the, the hospital, you know, and then the resident areas with the email thing, right? And I didn't know where none of the break rooms were to go get my food. I didn't know nothing, you know. I had to sit outside on my post when it was snowing outside, raining, or whatever. Like, the brother downstairs, he was like, y'all ready? I was like, yeah. No, but I had to go eat on a toilet. You know what I'm saying? When I was doing the beat. And, you know, this kind of comfortable over here, too. You know, it's, it hits something different over on the south side, but, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. I've been used to going to the university because the service is a little bit faster. It's like, you know, after hours, they just announced that the visitors couldn't, you know, stay in the building after 8 o'clock. Uh, if I was to go downstairs, then I got this. That's why I'm going to do the parking. I'm going to park it across the street. I guess that was a courtesy to me because I know they was in the wrong for them. For giving me a ticket. And I parked, I don't think I was in a, you know, like an area, a meter area. Walking the street to the Target. Like, how am I supposed to go shop at Target when I park? And, you know, I can't park. But a lady right behind me here parked. The same as I parked. And she got out, and I got out, she didn't pay my park for me. I was doing 10 minutes. Her father called me and stuff. And the meter man gave me a ticket. And I was like, damn, they gave me the ticket. So when I got over here, I guess this was like, what you want to call it, private? I saw people with tickets on their cars and stuff. I'm like, oh, it's the brother. I was like, man, man can I park? Man? This is my staff, you know, for Ally. Uh, can I park across this? Can I park over here, man? Because I was a gladly park like I did the first time. I you know, just saying. In the garage. And he was like, no, that's not really cool. But over here, you know, it was the same, same area, but they got tickets on their cars. So I was like, okay. And I got a ticket today at Philly, and I wasn't even in the parking zone. You know, I was going in Target, and they gave me a ticket. I'm talking about it was so fast. I was like, they were like, wow. 
you know, and I went up to the sister, I was like, uh, can I pay the ticket now? You know, you gotta, you gotta wait 17 hours. Like, oh. But she didn't, they didn't give nobody else no ticket, so they like, static dude. So I'm just looking on there. Oh, okay. Alright. So, hopefully I won't have a ticket from my dad. I don't know how long this gonna take. I mean, what's going on? We got here about 650. It's about going on. It's about going on two hours here. And I've been sitting here, I haven't used a washroom in about five hours. So, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She, she kind of asked me why I'm in here. Are you still? Yeah. She asked me why I'm in here. Hold on. Now y'all just still on the clock and get in and say 825. Right? I showed her our first piece of this sound here, hospital, long part. So she just asked me if I was still here. I'm gonna tell her, yeah, I'm still here in the lobby. Wait, you know, she was going on. All right. Uh, I think you're gonna show you should have done it. So I'm gonna All right, y'all, so I'm back. Still camped out. It's going on 9 o'clock now. But still haven't used the washroom yet. But y'all good. But what I did do, start transporting some of the uh, intro for this vlog from the Canon camera onto the iPhone. So now that I got probably about seven, eight clips on the Canon, but on the iPhone, I start putting my timeline together. So uh, it just makes it easier, you know, when I re-download it, I put the whole timeline together. So when I, when I cut my transition effects uh, into the video, it just makes it more, you know, it just makes the process smoother. You know, I just uh, add my, my soundtrack, you know, a few sound effects, and that's it, you know. Uh, you know, I'm getting really good through vlogs and stuff, man. You know, that's why I'm really trying to get to Hollywood. Shout out to the bishop. Uh, been trying uh, for years now. Now I had this. I had my tablet stationary. Let me show you. I had my tablet working all day. They got a network. Oh, they did. Oh. Right now, the NBA games are starting to end now. Uh, so I may be able to get a couple of reaction videos in before uh, I go back to with SJ. Because she just texted me not too long ago and she was like, uh, you still on the line? I'm like, yeah, I'm running your children. You know, and, uh, you know, I'm not new to this. I know I'm a veteran of the here, Jack. You know, I actually used to be, this was like my first assignment with security. I actually was at the desk, you know, third shift. You know, I sat there from 11 to 7. I hope it don't want to be one of them episodes, but if it is, I got my Pepsi and I got all my other essentials with me. But anyway, SJ said she's about, let me get this NBA footage off of All right, I'm not trying to get a copyright. But anyway, SJ said she about one centimeter. She got nine more centimeters to go, so. She said they were going to let me in in about 30 minutes as well. It's about 9 o'clock now uh, when she's going to be delivered. So she said they were going to let me in the room and then I could pull the, the camera camera out and really get some 24 hour footage for y'all. But well, this is going to be a long vlog. It's going to be a very long vlog. But anyway, uh, I'm going to cut it down. I'll put the camera on it. But anyway. I'm chilling. Uh, I may be able to report some NBA games tonight. So y'all may be seeing that pop up on the channel before the vlog. So make sure y'all turn on your post notifications so y'all can see the vlog on both channels. So you the one and you the other. So I'm chilling. Like I'm feeling. I got my Sprite right there. That's the NBA church now. Sprite, let me tell y'all something. That's so good. That cuts down on the pee pee. And you sit in, like, in a situation like this, yeah, uh, like I said, I, I'm on I'm a dead, Jack, anyway, uh, anyway, I'm going to finish watching these highlights, 
So I'll be checking back in. So I hope you'll be back in the room. All right, so I'll be back here at this side for the delivery room area. There's an FJ. FJ, what are you doing? Right now, she's uh, only one centimeter, so we got to get all the way to 10 in order for, you know, her to start pushing baby deer out. Now, I didn't, this is the first time I've ever been inside of the delivery room. Okay. They different over here. They got the LG TV up there. Can I turn on? They got cable up there? They got another phone? Oh, we could have watched the TV. I thought I, I was going to be using Netflix on I'm messing around with the mirror of my TV. You see what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm good with getting it anyway. I'm going to give y'all a broad stroke of the room before the doctor get back in. I'm going to black and voice this night. Y'all can't even see me over here. But anyway. Uh, so far, this has been a cool experience, man. I've been hot for it so far. And yeah, SJ, you know, smashing. But uh, y'all can use y'all a blind stroke of the room in about. All right, let me let y'all, let me um, give y'all a walkthrough of the room. So we're going to start with the washroom first, okay? Um, nice and spacious, okay? It's a nice, spacious washroom. That's going to be right there in the mirror. Um, now, she said this is what she would use right here when it's time for her to use a washroom. Uh, got a special cup on that, I guess. I don't know, just as the measurement. Y'all know what the, that would measure. But anyway, uh, some dog things in here. You know, yeah, for some of this, this is a alert thing. There's people who need help, but I'm right here too. And then they got a shower head over here. It's real small. I don't think I'll be doing those showers. Up here, but it's not cold. It's kind of cold. They got the air on up there, so you know, it's a hospital, so they gotta do that to cut down the bacteria. So, I understand all of that. But anyway, when you go out here and let's look at some of the components they got out here. Now, this is an EKG monitor, I believe this is what this is, and I guess just measuring our heart rate. I see a lot of things again out here. So, those are vitals right there. Okay, you see the bags right here. Okay. Um, she got the IVs in the arm already. So, yeah, this is going to be a process. I'm going to be right here with SJ. You know, we know on um, to victory. Because victory will be doing today. And this is a schedule right here. Okay, our goal is to provide you with an excellent kit. And a lot of my co workers, uh, female co workers, maintenance, housekeeping, uh, even some of the security officers, they said they had they kids here at this hospital. They said it's a good hospital. And, you know, I was capping earlier. You know, I was saying because I was, I was sitting out there in the room and I didn't know if I was going to get in here. Now, I know this a little bit because when the kid was born, uh, it looked a little different though over there at the university, but it was in another room besides the delivery room. So, this is where they will be. Um, Inspecting her, wiping her off, checking her, um, her vitals and stuff like that. You know, making sure she's okay, her lungs, all that stuff. Make sure she can breathe and all that. So, I think the nurse is about to come in here, so I gotta hurry up and sit down before I get in trouble. So, we'll be back in it all. Alright? Yeah, nurse coming. Okay. Alright, child, man, be back, man. I thought the doctor was coming in here, but let me give y'all a little close up on some of the other stuff. Now, this right here. I guess this is, you know, this is the control panel right here for the doctor, you know, that's going to be doing the, the delivery, so, there, that's there over there, she, know, she got IVs and stuff on her arm, fingers, stuff like that, but let me let y'all listen to some real quick, because this is the EKG model, see? as you can see right here, it's pose, and then there's a lot of other stuff on here. But if y'all listen closely, you can hear the baby's heartbeat. Y'all hear that? I want to get too close to the baby's heartbeat. Y'all hear that? Because SJ got like, I guess they got like a monitor hooked up on her stomach. Yeah, right here, it's like a monitor. She won't, I don't know where to show it, Y'all can see right there, maybe it's like an apparatus that's on the phone. And then she has an IV, you know. Is it one of your favorites? Uh, 
Okay, there's one is that on the struggling in our arms. And there's the IV bands right there. And you know, she got a monitor on her finger. You know, check her pulse. I know what that is. So yeah, this right here is for the, the pressure, blood pressure, I believe. You know, check her pressure. So we chilling, we was able to find the remote control, but as we're headed, we watching TMT, some on TMT right now. But y'all see, I done got myself all comfortable. Up in here, got my keys. Got my... I'm chilling, man. I'm about to recline. Cause she said this seat right here is a recliner. So I'm about to I'm about to kick this boy out. She covers up in here. Okay. This the first 24, baby. You dig? They got a bunch of stuff in here, man. They got uh aprons and stuff and all this net. Like if I want to put that on, but I got my own stuff. I got my own jammies in the bag and i got my jordan 23 um uh jersey it's in the bag right here too just in case you get too close in here but they got them fans on so like i said in the washroom they do that for the bacteria they gotta keep it cool because it's a hospital so i understand all that yeah we'll be back a little bit later on man let's make sure y'all just stay tuned and y'all gonna see some more right now she's still one centimeter so it's gonna be a long run right now I think it's going on 10 o'clock, we're on 11 o'clock right now. We're on 11 o'clock. So, I was able to use the washroom. Because <laughs> I've been waiting a long time. But anyway, um, we'll be back a little bit later on, man. So, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. It's uh, currently 225. And, uh, that's Jay. Still hanging on. Now, the doctors then came in and gave her... Uh, I think they did. They gave you a, a shot. I didn't put a pill on her cervix and then it's like a milk. Just to open the cervix, you know, so she can start dialing more. But I did find out what this is over here. This right here is like an EKG. And it said the baby's heart rate. Um, she said it was like slight dips in the baby's heart rate. But it's a real time and showing, you know, it's just giving her like a like a like a graph reading, a meter reading, you know, of the baby's heart rate. So I, I guess because yesterday was laying on the side, certain size was making the baby heart rate dip, kinda like sharp, you know, dips. But she gave us uh, some medicine that made the you know, or maybe stabilize. So uh, everything is okay so far. See, it's 2:26 in the morning. But I found out what this is. Right? Well, this is for the babies, for the monitoring of the babies. It's like an EKG for the baby. Okay. So, but once again, this is SJ's post. When y'all hear the baby hover, you know, that sound is stopping. And this right here is the fluid. Some ivy bags. Now the, the bags they have gotten a little bit small, especially this one right here. But we did figure out how to move this stuff. Okay, she had to go to the washroom. Um, the doctor told us what we have to do is we have to put it on standby right here. That's that button again. I'm sure it's past for a minute. Then we pull it out these weight pads right here. And then you go inside the cabinet and pull that black door out. So I'll probably gonna see if you can go. But then we got the green cord loop. That's it. And then you will have to take the, I think it's another piece that they should have down there, like on, uh, it's like a little piece that attaches the, I think the purse to the table. And then we'll be able to move it. Do the same process when you come back, take it off, stand by. Uh, what's the name of this thing? But we'll take this off, stand by. This is me to read the EKG pulse, uh, heart rate for the baby. So we'll be able to move this thing and then she can use the washer. Okay. Now, with the washer, I don't think she came here and changed that part. I was gonna show y'all some new early. Okay? Yeah, she didn't come in here the last time I told her, but um 
this is real essay that I use it in this. And you can't use it in a court. So the lady will come and, you know, dump it in the, you know, court. And, you know, clear it out and all that stuff. So, yep. Uh, I don't know why, that's that cool, but, you know, this is a new process. So, you know, for me, because I didn't go through this the first time. So she was mine, but, you know, it's all about her being violated. You know, you gotta be a few centimeters to get up the to, you know, be able to start with the actual delivery process. Like she said, uh, the pill that she gave her to help that sort of move the baby is starting to come down a little bit because her head is down like where the belly is up. So her bed is up at the top, so she's still high. So they made for her to come down so and you know, her to start dilating more. So, you know, we can start the delivery process. Why don't you get updated? For everything, man. We figured out how to turn the lights off. Last time I think the lights was on, but it's all on the remote control, which is right over there by XO Google. And we tracked that TBS this last time. That was what we do for Earth and the D. The last time we was out. And this goes, when it starts to, I guess, when the first starts going down for the highway, that thing starts to make noise and it starts beeping. So, that's what we got to do. But anyway, um, we keep y'all updated. It's two, that clock wrong right there. Y'all can't see it, but it's two, two thirty in the morning. And uh, yeah, so we have all the process. So y'all stay tuned. Give me that. Genius. About ten thirty. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's ten thirty-seven. In the morning time now, on Saturday, we're sat resting in this position. Because it's going to be more easy for her to dilate. Because right now, I think she's still zero. Um, but that's what the baby is moving down. So that's good. But they just don't try to open up. You know, they're not open up. But they said, um, they, have to, they may have to put some more medicine inside her, so. Yeah, probably a, uh, uh, like a little tube that the food and put in and put water in it. And that helps open up the cervix so, you know, the baby can come down because the baby's the, uh, where she needs to be at. Maybe that's what I'm saying, open up now. So, you know, she can come down now. But anyway, uh, you all see the way that's going to position. And it's going to be just a baby. Uh, baby S, uh, a baby little. Uh, and I have a proper camera somewhere. So, uh, I'm gonna get y'all some good stuff. So, uh, as long as it's cheaper than y'all can put a little soda. But anyway, let's go check the batteries and stuff, man. Learned a lot of new stuff. And uh, the new man's coming in and put a new bag in, a uh, fluid bag. And I still hook up for the IV, you know. Uh, so if you learn something new, like, you know, put on if you want. You know, like the new. So my dear, no more going to the bathroom trying to cook but that's going to be the baby, okay? So we can give you that bed and you have to clean. And I'm going to go check how much longer we'll wait for them, okay?
Gucci the only four weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so Jesse, now I can give you more weeks, Jamie. <laughs> But they're on here so we can finish the video. So we to buy some new I already tried. She said it didn't help her. Oh. But she wants to sit on the toilet too, but I think that's what I have to do. It shouldn't be too long. She said she'd like to go. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The bag of wood is the the I'm not going back to the Thank you. 
That's why I put the towel on the bed. I told her she's not to put down that her book. Yeah, but that now baby might come out and you might. What? Can you come back? She's here now. So she's gonna. I can't lay this kind of thing. I can't lay this So I'm literally coming, so you're gonna sit down. But I'm gonna lay it. Yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. I'm saying you're not, you don't have to lay lay, but because your water broke, that means at any point in time, this baby can come out. So you stand in. Yeah. No, I can't go in, but you're a what? Oh, that. I can't go in, but you're a what? You're a what? You're a what? I can't go in, but all right here. All in the two back. Yep. She's here. 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 And then I feel the hair. Okay? Baby's so pretty like hair. hair. Yeah. But she, she like that it's so thin that uh also I just want to introduce myself. But you feel like actually okay. I'll be here later for your school night. Hopefully we can get your epidural really soon. Okay. We just have to be able to sit still before we get the needle on your body. So stay to the Uh, Colleen Julie Adams is going to pop in here in just a moment to start your epidural. 
but I'm at least going to start going. We, everyone changes at the time. That's why there's two of us. So I'm at least going to start getting um, uh, get the paperwork done with you, and then she'll she, and you'll meet her literally in just like a few minutes. So um, is it all right if I just go through uh, the paperwork with you? Okay. Um, so again, am I saying the name correct? So we have. Okay, so just to confirm, no allergies to any medicines. Perfect. And you probably lacked that something to eat or drink like a very long time ago. <laughs> like more than eight hours ago, probably sometime yesterday. Yeah. Um, and then other than the high blood pressure in, with this pregnancy, you've never had a seizure, no problems with asthma, no scoliosis, nothing like that that you know of? Perfect, okay. And then no surgeries in the past, correct? Okay. All right. So in the next little bit for the labor epidural, you're going to be sitting up on the side of the bed. Um, so you'll be facing that wall. The nurse will be right in front of you. Um, and then Julie will be standing behind you. Positioning is very important for the epidural. So when you're sitting up, the best way I can recommend for uh, uh, optimal positioning is to think bad posture. So you'll relax your shoulders, tuck your chin to your chest. If you're able to kind of curl over baby, that position just helps push the bones of the low part of the spine closer to the skin surface. So if you're able to kind of maybe tuck your hips under you just a little bit and just kind of curl over baby, not so much leaning forward, but just in a way that you can kind of sit and push these bones of the low part of the back um, out to us. And if you're not able to, it's totally understandable because you've got a beautiful baby inside the uterus. It's a really weird position and we'll, we'll help you get into it. But once you're positioned, we'll just feel along the back, just feeling for a space between two of the bones of the low part of the back. Once that space is felt, I'm uh, just going to mark it with just with the thumb, so you'll feel a little bit of pressure. Skin is cool, uh, cleaned up with cold soap, cool plastic drape just placed on the back, trying to contraction. Okay, no problem. Yeah, Is she getting out? Yeah, she's just getting some. Oh, yeah, she's here. I'm just getting this get started so she can get all of her supplies in here. It just takes a moment to grab everything. So we're just trying to tag team this so to kind of. <laughs> move things along quickly. But yes, yeah, she's outside the room. So she'll literally be in here in just a few minutes. I just wanted to finish this up so that way she's not, you know, rushing. Um, but uh, but once the plastic drape is on the back, she's right up, right here. So uh, this is uh, Julie Adams. Hi. So, um, so, silly, huh? so um, cool plastic drape is on the back. Some numbing medicine attached to a small needle will then numb up that area. And once that area is numbed up, an epidural needle will access the epidural space. Once in that space, a catheter, which is a fancy word for a tube, is placed into the epidural space, needle comes right out. Continuous flow of medicine then goes into the epidural space to reduce the pain of the labor contractions. If you're having a labor contraction and you're sitting up, just say contraction. We're not going to advance the needle into the back while you're, you know, breathing through the contraction that way you can focus on your breath get through the contraction and then just let us know when it's over otherwise um potential risks of an epidural anytime there's a needle put into the back there's always a possibility of bleeding infection or nerve damage none of these things are common but just another contraction yeah. But the bag, what I was checking for the bag was really very tight. Yeah. And then I thought that it was very different. It's just on the legs. I mean, the jersey is not the best of my best. I mean, how much that is. Because why I'm standing? Because I can't say it. No. I'm 
Contraction. That's like she's still back. Okay, take a deep breath. Chin to your chest. And, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. And, and go. go. One, One, two, three. Good job, good job, good job. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Can you give me one more? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay. You want to continue, Elizabeth, or you want to take a break? Break. Okay. We can give you another twenty minutes. y'all man y'all seen it all man i'm still kind of tired sj and the baby they still at the hospital i'm about to go back down there now um but let me show y'all before we end the vlog off man um what baby lyra just got in the mail okay let me show y'all real quick okay she got another high chair okay y'all see this is her room and this is a uh high chair that one of her relatives had bought her when we hit the baby shower and now it's finally here so she got two high chairs this is a, a one two and three uh stacked up high chair y'all see what this is right here i haven't told sj yet but she told me it might be here. and then this is the one we bought this is a five and one high chair well 16 it could do 16 so she got two high chairs so she's gonna be <laughs> playing with two high chairs okay and then on the other side over here um the bassinet is already up. Got to make the bed up. Excuse the room. We have we have we looking here the last couple of days, so I got to make the um I got to put the bassinet up. I brought the bassinet on. We got to um 
turn it on okay so this is the chord right here that goes to it so this is where baby Lyra be right here got a little sense for her and all that stuff so yeah i'm about to close the vlog out man and uh yeah that's it all right y'all man we finna get up out of here man hey this your boy lc the one baby lc the one to be exact we ain't so you dig hey Okay, hey, yo, Matt, it was two four. You're not the mother sucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school, and my warm up jerseys right here in the back of my mother sucking chest still tied, yo. Uh, like I always say, man, keep it pimping and avoid slipping, man. Because they will get your mother sucking ass if you slip on that mother sucking banana peel. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, turn to the rapping guy. We're going to fuck with these shots. My LC Nation, my LC Gang, my LC Crew. I think y'all like this video. Share this video everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Comment on this video, man. Most importantly, if I mess with Spats, man, YouTube channel, man, because y'all don't want to miss nothing. Because the next thing is going to be me getting my teeth concentration so I can get my teeth back in. And I still got the wristband. I'm going back down there. As y'all can see, this is real. Okay? Y'all get more exclusive vlogs, reactions, and gameplay, all that stuff from your um, Vlogmas Guru. And like I always say, check it up, y'all. We gone. Five, four, three, a two, a one. Your boy Taz the Bunch. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm all star on next one. Baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 hey man, I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man, uh. just for all y'all niggas out there, man, yeah. they're saying I ain't the OG, the original, yeah, hey man, use a duplicate, yeah, use a duplicate, use a duplicate, nigga, yeah, use a duplicate, nigga, use a duplicate, yeah. You's a dude, nigga, and I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom T-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You did now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Straight up with the hood on it. Straight up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back printing, sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Print everywhere then i got the yoga pants you dig on top joggers you dig on talking about for me and i got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies you dig on time look at that she look comfortable with it uh-huh then i got the sports bra you dig on talking about get the sports bra you dig on top of the back print print you dig on talking about the back print print you dig on talking about we ain't playing no game and then i got the yoga pants for the ladies you dig on talking about biker booty shorts you dig on talking about so that put that piece can round out you dig on talking about then i got the the yoga leggings you dig on talking about flay so when she jogging and everything and I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig? And I got the the custom socks. You dig? On tomorrow, you ain't gonna find no more socks like that nowhere on the planet. And then, last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You dig? On talking about? Then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print, look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig? On draw straight back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking? LC the one. Look at the back. Look at the front. You dig? Look at the top. You think I'm talking about everything is looking good. You think I'm talking about and they'll see the ones neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You think I'm talking about? And then I got the iPhone 6 case. 7, 8, 9. Let's order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You think I'm talking about LC the one, baby. And then I got the custom mug. And when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream. And then I got the snuggle pillow. When you want to get snuggled with your lady. Yeah.